Good morning, everyone. It's a cracker start. Four degrees in the morning. <laughs> We're going to head up to Lake Mac today and flick around for some Jewfish. Oy. And, and all flatties. Maybe snapper on the vibes. Some plastics. Um, yeah, so it should be pretty good up there, I think, today. The wind's only a maximum of about 10 k's from the south. Tending westerly a little, little bit later on. Uh, tide change is about three and a half hours, so we'll probably you know, we'll run up to the high tide and maybe get a bit more on it too. But Lake Mac's very different when it comes to tides, so we'll um, just get the boat in the water and have a go. See you on the water. Just running out of chromia at the back um, in about four knots. I just saw a bust up of maybe salmon at this bottom end of the lake. We've got total glass out. It's only about 10k winds from the south predicted. Um, and the run up tide's about three hours from now. Hoping we get onto a few salmon just for a bit of sport. There's a little bit going on in the sounder. We've got some vibe from maybe some flatties and possible soapy running through. And yeah, the occasional red when they do decide to take it. So get out, have a spin. The uh, metal for your salmon and tailor. We also are running a samaki fork tail soft vibe in the 95 mil and a Zeric fish trap weedless um, so obviously we're looking for the bait on the screen to target the fish that might be following underneath so we'll pop around and, and have a look uh, this setup's 14 pound um, they were stick I think it's actually a savage reel a manic Two and a half with 14 pound, 14 litre. And the others, I think, running six pound on the Samaki and about 10 pound with the Chromie. If we don't have any luck here, I'll move around and sound up some bait and we'll try it again. But we are just so fortunate to be out in the weekend where it's looking like this, glass off, which I guess, you know, can be a good and bad thing. Where a little bit, little bit too clear on the water, fish can see right through and feel every vibration, where it's a bit windy, a bit of chop got more opportunity to move around without being spooked but a bit of bait coming on now this is small hops now just in case there's a flatty getting agitated by them going over the top i have to really strike hard with the weedless too because the flatty will feel it and let go if i just whack it in the mouth it'll get that weedless hook exposed When it comes to the dew, cast out a bit further, long pulls, and then just keep that line taut. So when they bite on the way down, you strike and you've set the hook and hope that they do not let go. <laughs> I think it was the salmon, I just pulled the hooks. <laughs> Level is kicked in, the tide's changed. And I just threw on a Casper Clear. Uh, just a little two inch Casper Clear. Now aim for salmon. Feels flathead. Took it off the bottom, so I've just got to take my time. This is only six pound. Might be a 50 centimeter flatty, I don't know. We'll have a quick inspection once we get it to the surface. Seems to be coming up okay now. Yeah, that's not bad. You hit it hard. Okay, a bit bigger. Okay. Not a bad flatty. Looking at a 64. Yeah, that. that there is our family food for the night, I think. So 64 is there. A touch over. Cool. Yeah, it was the first drop with the Casper Clear. They um usually they're pretty good on salmon. Just from Berkeley. Oh, 
Yeah, probably go that way. As you can see, the flatties don't mind them. 